going on guys? My name is Small the Call of Duty Guy. I bring you guys another video here today and this is the day right before spring break, Wednesday night, Thursday, my last day of school. You guys are gonna be seeing this on Thursday, but today I'm gonna bring you guys a video on how to set up your Elgato game capture agency with OBS for live streaming or recording locally, adding overlays to a stream, make sure all the audio settings are right, all your video settings are right and all that kind of stuff, and how I do it. Some my settings might differ from yours depending on how good your computer is or what you want in your stream specifically. So I'm gonna give you guys a broad overview. So first, if you guys aren't introduced, it's OBS. Um, you guys could find it on Google to search OBS. It'll come up. You can download from there. It's actually it's free, free software. I have the 32-bit version. And first of all, when you want to set up your OBS and everything, before you add any scenes or sources, you want to first go to your settings. When you first open it, it's gonna look like this. Except it's gonna be nothing here. So it could be like, yeah, it's gonna be. It's all gonna be blank. This stuff will all be down, or this uh, this stuff will all be up, like all the up there. I'm not going to tamper with my settings because I have it set for my stream, so I'm going to keep it how it is. But first, when I go to your settings right here, let me first turn on preview screen. So this is how my settings look right now. I have that, that like all this stuff right here. But let's go to your settings right here. And I'm saying right here a lot, but you go to encoding, and depending on your internet, or first say your general English. You could depend what whatever 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 language you're using. I'm using English because I'm speaking English. That's the only, like I said, that's the language I know. Um, enable cursor over projector. This means like if you're putting your cursor in, let's say you're taking a screen region or something, and your cursor comes up, then that pretty much it shows your cursor or not. It's pretty irrelevant. But this is how my first screen looks like. You're encoding. Now you want to use a times 264 and check mark use CBR. Now, enable CBR padding, use custom buffer size. I choose not to because it just sets the default 3500 based on your bit rate. So if I change this to 4000, that changes over there. Not a, not a highest bit rate that you can stream on using twitch.tv, which is a live streaming thing that I use, is 3500. Now, if you were to go to, if you were to do a local recording, the highest you could go is 5000. And this really just depends on your upload speed. Now, I have a 15 upload, therefore I can stream at a pretty high quality level. Um, if you have over a 5 upload, I think you would be pretty good for streaming. Before I did this, when I had crappy internet, I used to stream at a 1700 and that looked crystal clear too. So it really does depend on your internet. You should do a, a few test runs, see how your stream is laggy or not, and base, base it off that. Now AAC, 48 kHz, 160 bit rate. Some people use 192, I use 160. Um, channel stereo, you don't want to be mono. So when you have it at mono, that means when people are listening to your stream, it's going to be coming out of one. One side of your headset, not the other. You want to go come out of both, so keep it on stereo. So next one, no. All right. So over here, you want to make your mode on live stream um, or file upload only. This is if you're saving it to your computer or you want to stream it live. And then streaming, I have it on Twitch TV. You can do all these YouTube, Hitbox, all this other stuff. And then I used to choose a server closest to you, my Chicago one, because I live in Chicago, so I keep that there. And your stream key. Your stream key, I'm going to show you right now how you find that. So you want to go to twitch.tv slash dashboard and you want to log in. Now, here's my dashboard right now. Click on the stream key on the far right and then you click show key. I'm not going to show my key because this is the key I'm using. I don't feel like refreshing it. But you just click show key, it will come up. You just copy that and then you just come and you paste that right over here. Now, down here, auto reconnect, that tells you whether if your internet goes down or like restarts and you don't notice it, it'll reconnect your stream quickly. So if your stream drops, it'll come right back up or it'll just drop and you want to manually bring it back up. So I keep that as checked 10 seconds. And this way you can add your delay to your stream. Let's say you're playing an S&D tournament in Call of Duty or anything and you want to delay on your stream so there's no one stream watches or something. You could add how many seconds you could add delay for. I think Twitch automatically adds a 30 second delay. So there you go. Um, save the file. You can either choose to s check this to save it to your computer after each live stream. I choose not to. I just keep it as a past broadcast in my twitch.tv application itself. Um, down here you can set hotkeys for each one. I don't have one, but that's up to you. Um, next one, video. Um, this is your video adapter or your graphics card. You can leave that whatever it is. Now you want to say your base resolution is 1280 by 720. This is the highest that Twitch TV could go to. They cannot do 1080p. And the aspect ratio is 16 to 9. And resolution downscale. If if your stream starts lagging, what do you want to downscale to? Um, 
I have it at the highest at 1280 by 720 the same as this one you could change it down low here I recommend not to though um, if you have if you don't have that good of an upload speed then maybe you want to drop down like 1024 by 576 but I, I wouldn't recommend anything other than that 30 FPS if you have an Elgato if you have like an Aver Media I heard you could do 60 or different capture card but the Elgato can only do 30 on twitch.tv now disable arrow I don't use this for my computer but if you have a computer that's not that good I have a custom built PC so I'm pretty confident in it if you don't have a computer that's that's not that good then you could disable arrow and pretty much takes out a lot of lag on your stream but then it reduces your computer quality a little bit but then it makes it a lot smoother for your stream and you can actually navigate your computer without freezing all up so that's something you could do on your own now going down to my audio tab um desktop audio device i keep that as default um everything coming through here and i have it connected to my mix amp down here and th that should stay at default my, mi my microphone i use my blue snowball you can either use your astro mix amp if you have astros or whatever mic you have just plug it in and then you can set that up and then you, you can re-initialize it set the settings for that i already have it all set up um this stuff keep it as it is push to talk you could do that if you have a pretty bad mic and there's a lot of background noise you can just push down a button and then talk and then stop and it'll stop projecting the voice or the sound but that's only if you have a pretty bad mic um you, you can set your hotkeys for this desktop audio boost should be one one and then if you have an elgato this is huge you want to have a 1500 second delay now for because or you need you want you need to have a 1500 millisecond delay because your elgato is 1500 milliseconds behind and you don't want like let's say you're playing Call of Duty and you die, you'd be like, oh no, I died, and then 1,500 milliseconds later, then the game actually shows that you die. So this lines it up so your Elgato goes right with your voice. So now going down to advanced, this should all stay the same. Now make sure you guys have all of these same settings. This should be default from when you first got your OBS and you first downloaded it. Make sure you guys have all these settings. Go over it. You guys can pause the video and check that for yourself. Browser. Uh, I haven't really, this is a new update, I haven't really done anything with this. If you're advanced in this stuff, you could set all this stuff up, but I don't. Now over here, micro microphone noise gate. Now over here, you see the green bar right here. This shows my blue snowball right now that I'm talking into the green bar. Okay, so if I don't talk, that green bar is how much background noise there is. Now I set these bars just above that, so, and pretty much cancels out all the background noise and it only leaves my voice now you don't want to set the bars too high because then it might take out your actual voice so that's why I keep it like right about right there and that's pretty good um, I had to adjust it a little bit but yeah um, and enable noise gate you can just choose that um, I don't attack time 25 this is all default so let's keep this how it is so now I'm gonna click apply for that one I'm gonna click okay now since you have all this set up, um, this you can measure on your own when you do test stream or recording to test your stuff. I'm going to disable preview for right now. Um, let me take all this stuff out. This is all specific to my stream guys, so I'm going to take some of this stuff out. And... Alright, so now, now first of all you need to add a scene. Now you click add scene, see I'm going to make it one for tutorial purposes. Um, click add scene, you add a scene. Now you can come down, add, and you want to go to video capture device if you have an Elgato. Now your Elgato game, game capture HD should come up if it's plugged in and everything's on. You don't want to have it on, like I, I have the application right here, you don't want to have it open during this process. If you do, then it won't show up on here. You can only have either this open or you can have this open. So, yeah. You could go to configure if you want to change like the saturation and everything on your image. You can do that separately. Um, you want to paste it at 100 so it doesn't look see-through. All this stuff right here, um, custom resol resolution, it's already set at 720, so I don't need to do anything with that, it's already set at 30. Um, now over here, scene buffering time milliseconds, we're going to put that at 1500. Now this is for, um, this is for the audio, or for, or for the video, the video itself, so it could delay at 1500 milliseconds, because you delayed your voice 1500 milliseconds, and you want to delay the video 1500 milliseconds, and then keep this, the audio, how it is, so it goes line up with the game now if you have if you don't have this checked your video will come up and then like you'll shoot and then your gunshots will sound in the stream so you're trying to make it the best viewing possible for the viewer and they you want them to feel like you so if you're shooting it's like beep 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 that's the worst shooting sound ever but beep 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 and then two seconds later it goes beep 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 the actual sound 
then that's not good. So if you add the delay, it lines up your bullets with your actual thing. It's 1500 and also lines up with your voice. So that's why I keep it at, I keep this at use device audio and just keep it how it is so I can get the game sound out of it. You don't need to touch any other stuff. Um, you can use chroma key if you want to set up a green screen and stuff. That's something advanced. You can check out a different video for that. So you can add the gamma, do all that kind of stuff. So click OK. And now you want to click preview stream. And there you go. One moment. I don't have my I don't have my Xbox on right now, but it, it'll pop up right here now. Now, when you first open this up, it'll probably look something like this. It'll probably look like something like that. Something like that. Now, what you want to do is click on Edit Scene, drag this, and you see this red, this red box in the corner. You want to drag this, and you can resize it to fit your screen. Now, this black screen is your actual stream right now. And if you guys are wondering how you get this up, you have to click Enable Preview, and it shows a preview of your stream. And on the bottom right, you can show like the frames drop. I have it 30 FPS. Um, how long you've been going for and all that kind of stuff. So it's actually pretty cool. Let me just line this back up. All right. So no signal account. I don't have it plugged in. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, and then you can add overlay by going add image browse, and you can add an overlay. Let, let's see, for example, okay, I have my old overlay here, and put that over there. You know, just add overlays and do all that kind of stuff. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Tutorial on how to basically use. OBS for streaming with your Elgato Game Capture HD. I hope this helped you out. Some of my fellow streamers that have been having trouble with this. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. And make sure to like, favorite, comment, subscribe if you guys did enjoy the video. And my name is Jamal, the Call of Duty God, and I'll catch you guys later. See you.